Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring.
This an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. We just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well, wanted you to see this side of me too. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy Don't had... owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know? He can't seem to stop gushing about you. Basmati, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. 
patio. Grab a chair and a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah, seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. think could be fun well well nice firepower there this is no time to get distracted we can't let that filth get away Who? oh well look at you v allow me to introduce captain joan mclean and lieutenant henry callahan and they're our precincts best and brightest wouldn't want to get in their way i always work alone no exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too! Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst, but I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. All right, all we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll 
pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey, v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> She's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's coolies! <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts! Not done yet! <gasps> He's hit! He's hit! Fast. Next round! Next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Hmm. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! I want to see you squirm. No! Your last words! <laughs> oh, come on. Another ambush? Okay, so now... Lunch is ready. Mm, but, Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best! Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Oh, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey! Food's on the table. So? Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah! The bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations?
If the future allows it, I'd like to have one someday. If for no other reason than that I love get-togethers like this. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss. Well, why hide it? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? <laughs> I do. <laughs> we just voted. Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay, good. Just push. Okay. That seems easier to open from that. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Scrapers actually seem pretty majestic from out here. Not seeing what goes on inside. Memories? High stress, dirty backstabs, kind of pressure that gives you ulcers. Somehow, I just don't miss it. Got something for you. Wow, uh, what's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. 
It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. So, I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was spilling. And then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Too late. Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck a cop. Gonna go plug my ears, gouge out my eyes. Hey. Hey? Coffee will be ready in a jiff. <sighs> oh, Prem. Talked in your sleep, you know? Yeah. 
I dreamt of a warehouse, searching containers in it. Warehouse must have been huge. <laughs> you were loud. Taste it. Best coffee you've ever had, I bet. Best jambalaya, best coffee. Mm hmm Come on, keep it coming, and... Just that. So, I've been thinking. What? Last night, you and me. Is this going anywhere, you know, longer term? Listen, River. What happened... It was real. It was good. But... I can't make any plans for the future. There's this thing... That you couldn't tell me about. I know. Call it veteran cop intuition. It's why I tried to tell you something yesterday. About myself. To give me courage? Boost it? Oh, no. So you'd know exactly how fucked up I am. Give you a chance to consider if you even want me. River, I'm dying. Wanna haggle on? Try to outdo that? What? Wasn't just me you spent the night with. Sharing headspace with a construct I caught like some disease. All because of an experimental Arasaka biochip. Construct? You mean like somebody's mind? Mm-hmm. An engram of Johnny Silverhand. Yes. That silver hand. And it's getting worse. But... Sorry, still not following you. You're talking to V right now. But tomorrow, this could be a self-obsessed dickhead rocker boy. And trust me, you don't want to talk to him. How is that even possible? He's displacing my own neural net, River. Gradually destroying my brain. But it's reversible, right? There's no way it could actually kill you. Actually, doesn't look promising. Need to excise him. Get him out of my brain before it's too late. Shit. So, I think we ought to take it easy. You shouldn't get attached. Bullshit, V. It doesn't change a thing. Question is, what do you want? Are you willing to give this a shot? Sorry. But I just can't. V. You don't need to apologize for this like that. I've had a great time with you. But life's life. It goes on. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. Don't mind me, and tell Randy I said hello. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, V. Will I see you later? Yeah, sure. Have a good day, then. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. What the hell you want, Reed? You're a disappointment, V. To me, to Saul. We could have helped her. We, together. It was her choice, Saul. You're helping a traitor who took a potentially lethal swipe at the NUS president's life.
Sorry, Reed. Made my decision. Not gonna backpedal. You don't get it. It's not about you and me anymore. You two are enemies of the NUSA. We, the FIA, we're gonna find you two. You have exactly nowhere to run, V. Wouldn't have fucking called if this was over and done, Reed. This some negotiation tactic? We're long past that, V. I'm saying we'll see each other soon. You, Song, and me. Get it? And I'll expect you to mend your ways then. Aim to fight it out, Reed. To the very end. Is that what you told Wells at Compeki Plaza, too? You need to grow up one of these days, start taking responsibility. If not for yourself, then for others.